Well, hey everybody, I'm Paul. Welcome to my kitchen. You know, sometimes you just have a hankering for something spicy. And I love sausage. So if you can marry those two together, a little bit of spicy, a little bit of sausage, that just is a perfect meal. So I've got a version that I love to do, and I'm going to share it with you. It's very simple, very easy to do. We'll jump right into it. So the first thing you got to do is go over the ingredients, right? I am not sponsored by these guys. Any sausage will do. I like Polish kielbasa, but these are really nice. It's the Cajun brand of Zataras, was it? Zatarians? Zatarians, I guess you say. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but you can see it. They have different versions. I really like the Cajuns, probably my favorite, but so um, it's not huge. It's a 14 ounce pack. So I'm going to slice that up into um, pretty thin slices. All right, so of course you get two pieces. You don't have to use two, of course, just as much as you want to use at a time. I use them both generally, make up a big skillet full. And so these are about the size pieces. I don't know if you can see what we're talking about. You know, thicker than a quarter, but not humongous. Now this is uh, fully cooked, so we don't have to worry about that, and just cutting it, it has a wonderful aroma. You can see all the different uh, seasonings just from cutting it and whatnot, or even, it's got some great spices in it. Alrighty, now I've got uh, two fairly good sized apples. Any amount will be alright. I like Honeycrisp, I like Galas, whatever you got on hand will work. I just thought I'd do this while I got the camera set in here. So typically what I do is I put the sausage on to cook and then come back over here, but uh, too lazy to move the camera back and forth, so we'll do it this way. <laughs> so of course you don't want huge hunks, so we're just going to cut them into little bite-sized pieces at least, right? Something like that. And it makes quick work out of it. There's one thing that goes great with pork, and that is apple, in my opinion. Of course, nothing's mandatory. You can add or subtract any ingredients. Make the recipe yours. But to me, it's a real treat with some fresh apple in it. And we'll just get these ones finished up here. YouTubers always tell me I, I cut too slow. But I still have all my fingers. <laughs> Haven't lost a tip yet, so... I have worked on it though, I'm getting a little quicker. <laughs> okay, let's get this sausage going. Here we've got a chunk of real butter. That's just my preference. Not too big, not too small. Just 
using the old cast iron. All right. So you kind of want to not get a bunch layered on top of each, like this guy. I try to, at least to start, give most of them, you know, face down as much as you can. They're not all going to fit perfectly, though. So, like I say, they're fully cooked. We don't have to worry about bringing them up to a, to a temperature where it's saved. That's already taken care of. So I got this on um, medium to high heat, about three quarters. We'll let them sizzle for a little bit. Yeah, back in the old days, I can remember my uncle stopping by the house and he had just been over to the, they called it the local butcher. It was a butcher and deli kind of place. And they would have that uh, Hungarian kielbasa type uh, sausage and it was fully cooked or smoked or whatever. And links, you know, and stuff would come wrapped in the red paper. Everything tasted so good then. It was fresh. You could slice it right up. Open up that paper, slice it up, and it was great. Now you don't see too many of uh, the small butcher deli type places. So. Meat markets, those kind of things. Food markets. Uh, Fading away. Well, these are about getting ready to turn over, so I just... I don't worry about it as much. See, this is what you like to see. I like it. Where it's... It's probably my focus. Uh, where it's just brown. Oops. I got this a little high. Turn it back with all hand. I'm cooking with the ass. So. Yeah, I like a little bit of butter in there. Some people will say that's too much, and that's okay. But it kind of almost makes like a, not a gravy, there's not that much, but it just makes it nice, the end product. So I'm going to go ahead and get the apples here, gotta go get them. Okay, so I'll just throw those right in there. Mix them around. See, that's why I just take my time on the first layer the first time to make sure most of them are flat, just to get a little browning going on at least on one edge, fairly decent, because there's no way you're going to fit it all in there with the apples and such. Now, sometimes I'll oh, add some. Uh, sweet onion. Sometimes I'll add some Napa cabbage, whatever I've got on hand. Not too much, you know, but either way, or just keep it like this. We want to let these cook a while. So it's going along nicely. If it looks like there's fewer than before, it's because the whole time while I am stirring, 
It seems like I always see one that just is calling to me, you know. I just have to try it. Oh, yummy. The apple's getting nice and soft. So, I'm hit on the heat right. Five minutes. You don't obviously want to let set for long or else it'll scorch up on you. So. Alright, well this is a meal right here, I'll tell you, because the sausage has a nice little spark to it. So if you don't like things too hot, you could probably stop right there. But Now let me just turn it back to about half heat. See everything's giving a nice, a nice brown to it. These, see there. Now oh, that's good. So that's when we know we're about ready for. Now, obviously, if you don't like more spice, then you don't want to add this stuff. But now I'm not. I'm not going to do the cabbage this time. But it certainly does go good. The napa. Well, you know what this is, of course. Not sponsored, but Shration. This stuff's great. I use it all the time in a lot of stuff. Gives a great color and just enough kick. I probably put in the oh, three, maybe four tablespoons. Put in whatever you like. You know, rolls. Whatever you think's gonna work. I would say less is more. You always start with less. You can always add more. It's pretty hard once you get too much to go backwards. So whenever you're doing spice or sweetening or whatever. Less is more. You can always add. Now that's looking pretty good. And that got a pretty color to it. Hope the camera's good, man. It looks good to you know, um if you've got some green pepper would go good in there. That would be fine. Some green pepper. Onion and sausage is a nice mix. It's all good. Now this is ideal if you've got a nice hunk of like French bread or Italian bread, you know. I like this French bread up from Walmart. You get it for a buck, it's a big long loaf. Mmm, goes great with this stuff. So, you can serve it on a plate, serve it in a bowl, however you like. I would say they are about getting it done. You see how the shirasha sort of like um, cooks onto it? I'm gonna, if I'm not careful, I'm going to cook my plastic bag onto the skillet. Uh, the shirasha kind of like uh, binds onto it, makes a nice, nice crusty pieces. Look at that! Like you know, it's almost like it's breaded, right? <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Got that kick. Perfect. What's nice is with the heat from the shirasha, then you get the sweet from the apples, and makes a perfect combination those two together so it's very simple and very addictive I love this I hope you guys try it if you do let me know what you think until next time we'll see you